Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. Today in this tutorial, we will be looking at how we can use particle flow with ray fire. So here is a sort of example on what we'll be working today. Just a simple scene. Uh, we have lots of um, capsules falling down. Okay. And also we have got this animated time scale. I won't be covering that part because we have already done that in previous tutorial. So today we'll see how we can use particle flow to create this capsule rain. First of all let me model my capsule. Uh, you can just use the capsule from extended primitives. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. Uh, let me scale it down a bit. Okay. Uh, let me just convert it to editable poly and do a connect that's the middle one and let me just uh, detach this one okay and then I'll add a shell modifier to it with just a little bit of amount maybe about 0 0.1 outer amount so that we'll have kind of little bit of uh, overlapping of one ca one part to another one. Let me again convert it to editable poly and then pull this down a bit. Okay. Okay, that's it for the modeling and then I'll just uh, collapse these two. Mm, collapse, okay. Collapse selected, okay. I think, oops, collapse selected, okay. And then let me open my material editor and load up my V-Ray material V-Ray material let me duplicate this one first one let me name it red and the next one white okay mm. now let me just put this color to red put some reflection on it okay and also some reflection glossiness maybe about 0 0.8 and I want to bump the sub division up to 12. Okay. Okay, I can do it again. I just duplicate that again so that I don't have to play with this reflection settings again. I'll just change the color to white. Okay. Now I'll p uh, apply this red to upper half. So let me select this element and upper part and just apply it. And then select the bottom one and okay so the bottom one I have applied white and then for the top one I will apply red sorry a little mistake okay once that's done uh, let me again open up my material editor and let me create my V-Ray SGRI map let me click this get material button and go down to V-Ray SGRI and then let me browse it Okay, okay, this one right here. Open up. Okay, and also another one material for our video plane. Video material, just plain white color. Okay. Let me open up render settings. Go to indirect elimination and turn out ambient occlusion and uh, GI global elimination. Then I'll set my global elimination engine to brute force and secondary bounces to light cache okay go to V-Ray adapt to DMC and cat mill roam let me go to environment turn on GI environment and also reflection refraction oops okay and then I don't want to use map for environment I'll just use my map for reflection so I'll just drag my SGR map to this one Okay. Then we'll create a V-ray plane. V-ray plane, and apply this white material to that. And let us quickly try up by rendering it how it looks. Okay. Um, 
That looks quite good. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, then I'll go to rendering environment and choose the color here. Okay, first of all, the same color as my environment and choose this color. Pick this one. Okay. That's it for the uh, lighting and material part. Now we'll use particle flow and ray fire to create our capsule falling simulation. So let me go to particle system and create a new PF source. Okay. Let me just pull it up. Okay, maybe about here. Let me just put it away. Okay. So now you can see that we have these particle animations. I'll just increase my frame to about 225. Okay. Then I'll press the 6 key to open up particle flow particle view. Uh here we'll control our settings. First of all, let's go to birth and then I'll say the image will stop at maybe about 150 and about 500 particles. So we'll have altogether 500 capsules when it falls down. Position icon, uh, I think I don't need to play with that. I'll play with speed a little later on. Okay, so here I, I may need a rotation, so let it be right there. Uh, I don't need sh shape. Okay, so we have this particle falling down like this. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, go to speed and put in some diversions. In position I don't want volume I want it to be pivot and it's a low speed I don't want too high speed um, maybe about 100 speed would be fine okay now next thing we'll add a delete operator and then by particle is I don't want the particle to last longer I'll just um, so I'll just put it the lights meant to maybe about 10 or maybe a little more less than that maybe about 8 and I don't want too much of variations okay okay once that's set up uh, what I'll do is um, I need another um, operator called shape instance so it will allow our particle to choose an object. So I'll choose my capsule. Okay. Uh, and then go to display and type to geometry. So you can see our capsule in the viewport. Okay. So it's good. Now, next thing is using Rayfire to create that simulation. So I can just now put this apart. Okay. And then go to Rayfire. Open up Rayfire Flatter. So, since today we are not fracturing anything, we won't be playing around with these fragmentations. Just we'll be going with physics. So, we'll just select this PF source and add it into our simulation property. Okay then I'll turn on my home grid as ground now if I do the simulation let me bake my simulation you'll notice that after our particles start to die um, our capsules start to fall down more so that means these objects which have been created after our part particle source is dying they are the dynamic objects which are being simulated by our ray fire. Okay, I just uh, stopped. It was just up to 100. So okay. So now you can see that at the first. Here we have these objects. So that means they are not active at the moment. But when our particles start to die, they become active and they start to fall down. So at from here you can see that these objects, they are the editable mesh, and up here they were not. They were just hidden and they start to fall down right here okay. so now they are the just our s objects which will act dynamically okay so you can now play around with these um, particle view settings 
maybe I want to increase the speed a bit and then let me just uh, go ahead and just delete this one okay and I just wa don't want too much diversions maybe just two or three or 1.5 okay that will be fine okay and I can play my simulation okay first of all let me just put my end frame to 225 okay now let me bake my simulation okay they are falling down now and once they hit the grid they are acting dynamically so this is what we can do with particle for particles flow and ray fire we can create real objects out of the particles by using ray fire okay let our simulation be over okay the simulation is completed now you can see we have this simulation now we can also delete this particle source that does not affect our scene okay now here you can see all these objects are falling and bouncing okay now you can just render it out or add in some time scale if you have if you don't know how to animate time scale you can watch my previous tutorial um, and render it uh, you can also use this uh, cool script called solid rocks to render using uh, V-Ray it's actually a great script I just found uh, it about it just a few days ago and it really reduces your time without compromising with your quality so you can just play around with these settings for now and just try to render and hopefully in future I also create uh, some tutorials on the solid rock script okay um, that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed see you next time with another tutorial have a great time